group of Santa Rosa County women saw some needs in their community. They realized that collectively they could make some things happen. Each one of them made a commitment and said, we'll do. Angels in our midst. It is sponsored by the Studer Family Children's Hospital at Sacred Heart. Women members who pool our membership dues in order to fund grants that go back into um, our local community. The Gulf Breeze Will Do organization is recruiting more women to join their ranks. They're a grassroots organization on a focused grassroots mission. Their only goal is to financially support viable plans to make their community better. We also do not limit it to 501c3s. It's to any uh, group or individual that has an initiative or project that will benefit the 32561-32563 area. Those individuals and groups can submit funding requests twice a year, in the spring and in the fall. The members of Will Do review the grant applications and then the ladies vote. It is $250 annual membership. We're also excited because we want to encourage our younger women in the community to participate in our process. So we have a discounted uh, annual membership of 150 if you're 28 years or younger. In just four funding cycles, the group has supported 21 projects, awarding a total of over $115,000. They bought a night vision camera for the Midway Fire District's rescue boat. Thanks to Will Do, Gulf Breeze Middle and High Schools have new band instruments. Woodlawn Beach Middle School received almost $10,000 to help with the University of West Florida's impact study on the invasive lionfish. They funded all of the equipment that we have, so I have a fully um, like college genetics lab in this middle school right here, which is absolutely incredible. We've been able to fund uh, automatic external defibrillators for the City of Gulf Breeze Police Department, so now that every patrol car has an AED. I'm just so proud that the women of this community have taken upon themselves uh, community groups, school groups, um, taking it under their wing and made it their responsibility to make sure that worthy projects are funded and actually come to fruition. And there's an open invitation for other women who are ready to join in and say, we'll do.